let's just go over about persona. What are they? The, this goal of personas is just a way to represent, and this is all they are, and they're a guideline. You just want to represent who you're designing for. So who's your target audience? Ideally, these personas, they're based on the target audience. Now, ideally, the, infor the information that you, that you want to use in your personas is related to the project. So you have, to, you have your product, and then you have the people that you're trying to aim. So personas that just help you to understand them. They also help you to communicate with your, with your team. But by working with developers, working with engineers, working with UX writers, working with illustrators, working with product managers, working, there's a lot of people. When, when you think about it as a persona, okay, and when this persona has a name, that changes things. And one of the things that research has shown is that when you have a few personas, very few personas, it's easier for you to empathize. As soon as you try to say, well, this is going to be for a group, your empathy just kind of goes down because to us, it's really hard to try to understand a group of people. So to say, hey, this product's gonna be used by a hundred people, extremely hard, to, extremely hard to try to relate. But if it's like, hey, this is for Jim. And then and Jim does this, and Jim, I thought, okay, well, that's easier. So personas just allow us to empathize, understand who this end user is, what they do, what they care about, and with, by working with developers and other teams, we can all refer to the same thing, to the same persona. So for example, showing a, a wireframe to a developer or engineer, you can say, hey, you know what, we're, we're designing this for Dahlia. Oh yeah, right. So this is what Dahlia likes. This is, this, this is what Dahlia does. Okay, so how will Dahlia, Dahlia use this? And it just changes the entire conversation between user, Dahlia, two completely different things. Now, personas are a guideline. They're based on metrics. But if I base this persona out of like, hey, this has something in common here. You know, this is, I saw this pattern, like, or I saw this pain point. Okay, that's ideally one thing to, to deal with these personas. Right? So you don't, they should not be 100% based on one customer. Should be, you know, getting a few customers' profiles into one so it becomes a fictional persona, but it's using behaviors that are real. So ideally, that's what you want. Um, so you know, you can get the personas by, or creating personas through Google Analytics, so someone might give you a sales report, and then you'll see information about your users. And then you can start, and we'll get you an idea of like what people are doing. Now, you can also use it, uh, you can follow up with surveys, or you can write a survey, you can do an interview or a bunch of interviews. The idea of the persona is to have a deep understanding of the user. Otherwise, they're just another metric. 